In 2002, I went to Orlando, Florida for a conference with my clients and spent a few days at a few theme parks. This is my third visit to Florida. I had previously visited Epcot Disneyland Orlando where I find it to be not for me as a college student. I decided to skip Magic Kingdom Orlando. I end up going to Busch Gardens Theme Park at Tampa Bay instead, 120 miles east of Orlando which has several roller coasters. It was a blast cause I am crazy with roller coaster and ridden so many. I remember one time at Hershey Park in Pennsylvania, one of the roller coaster will fall off very close to where I was walking. Back then, safety code was not like what it is now. The one ride I really wanted to but never got to do it is the Cyclone Roller Coaster at Luna Park in Coney Island. I had also once driven from Philadelphia, Pennsylvania to Syracuse, New York to pick up my friend and then to Miami, Florida. We took turn driving almost 6,500 kilometers, or 4,000 miles for the entire journey. It was a gruesome two weeks, however it was such an experience stopping at so many cities along the way. In the 90s, the highway was not it was like now. Please like, share, comment, and subscribe to my channel, so that I can continue making more video contents like this. Universal Studios Florida Theme Park opened on June 7, 1990. The theme park are divided into six zones. They are Production Central, Hollywood, New York, Woody Woodpecker's Kid Zone, San Francisco Amity, and World Expo. However now, it has added the Wizarding World of Harry Potter and Springfield The Simpsons. Several of the attractions and rides has been removed or replaced. King Kong Encounter Ride was replaced with King Kong 363D. Sadly, Back to the Future Ride, my favorite, was replaced with The Simpsons Ride. San Francisco Amity Island together with Jaws Ride was replaced with The Wizarding World of Harry Potter. Back then in 2002, there is only one roller coaster ride, the Incredible Hulk Coaster. It would take at least two days to cover the entire theme park. Me and my clients only had the entire day. We skipped a few of the zones. The ticket price now starts as low as $120 to over $350, depending on the number of days pass as well as whether you purchase online or at the theme park, which would cost a lot more. It opens from 9 in the morning to 9 in the evening, 7 days a week. Back then in 2002 there were roughly 5 million visitors. Now it has doubled to 10 million visitors. It now has 15 attractions and 3 roller coasters. Back then it was much lesser. That is why in this video you will see that there was no long queue. I believe the crowd would be more during the summer. The indoor rides includes King Kong, Back to the Future and Men in Black. I hope you enjoy the rest of this video.